Okay, welcome. Um, I have uh, got a little John Deere 7775 skid steer with a Yanmar four-cylinder diesel that uh, the sump pickup fell off. It was run without oil. And interestingly enough, um, it didn't damage the rod bearings or the rod journals or the cam bearings or anything in the engine except the main bearings were start of oil and they spun fairly severely. Now the engine's already apart. I've started to clean it up so I won't show you that part of the process. Um, this is an experimental repair. Um, the block and the rod caps were fairly badly damaged by the main cap spinning and uh, alternatives for fixing that are kind of slim. A new block, about 1700 bucks from China. Um, engines look like they're running about seven thousand um, dollars. The skid steer, skid steer is worth maybe ten. Um, so, and there's a couple of options. Most of the damage, um, apparently, the crank was flexing as it was running. So most of the damage, uh, up to thirty thousandths of gouging, is in the rod caps. Um, and I measured those out with a with an end mic and. Uh, I'll show you those in a minute, but uh, a couple of options, it'd be possible to uh, grind the ends off the rod caps and possibly line bore the block. Um, I'd probably end up with a thousand dollars into that process. Um, it would probably work pretty well except for the fact that the uh, top of the rod, uh, the, the rod journals in the block have a bit of gouging too, they're not perfect. And uh, John Deere and Yanmar, in both their wisdoms, did not make any um, oversized bearings available for this thing. Oh, and oddly enough, the crankshaft wasn't damaged. It polished up, and there was quite a bit of babbit stuck to it. So I stuck that in a lay and spun it with uh, emery cloth and oil, and it has polished up. Looks pretty good. I'll show you that in a bit here. But uh, what I'm going to try to do here is... Um, I'm going to uh, make up some Belzona super metal, some high temperature stuff, the uh, 11 or 1511 Belzona, uh, which is supposed to be good for 400 plus degrees. And uh, I talked to the rep and talked to Belzona, and they said it's got a pretty good shot of working. This is a super metal, high strength, high temperature. Um, people have used epoxy to repair damaged small engines. But uh, your garden variety epoxy, like uh, uh, JB Weld and such, it's pretty good stuff. But uh, it does uh, not like to get up there in that 200 degree range. And uh, if you've got oil in the crankshaft, crankcase, your engine's running 180 degrees in normal operation, maybe a little more. And oil is probably a bit higher than that. Oil, depending on what you've got, might very well be running 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to take this Belzona metal and we're going to coat up the bearings with mold release and we're going to, uh, the, the Belzona metal has a fairly long working time. So what we're going to do, is we're going to make this stuff up and spread it on like peanut butter, a very thin layer to uh, fill the gaps. So we're going to uh, get it in there, we're going to uh, coat the rod bearings up with mold release so they don't, or the main bearings up with mold release so they don't stick to it. Um, we're going to put them in, we're going to do the same thing to the rod caps, we're going to uh, coat the crankshaft up very, very lightly with, uh, actually to make sure we have bearing clearance, this is critical, um, it's supposed to have about 15, 10 thousandths of clearance. Uh, I am going to wrap the main bearing journals in one thousandths or 10, 10 thousandths thickness uh, clear plastic tape to make sure that we maintain that clearance and then we're going to bolt the whole thing together and let it cure and then uh, we're going to take it apart um, take the take the tape off clean it up stick some plastic gauge in there check the check what clearance we ended up with and uh, we're going to put this thing together and uh, see how run see how it runs I suspect it's going to make a pretty good repair but I'll uh, update this video uh, over the next uh, couple of weeks and months. Let you know how many hours I get on this thing and if it uh, works out or if it lets go. So here we are. 
Now, first thing I'm going to do is turn this camera around, and uh, we're going to uh, take a look at the uh, the various pieces of this. Okay, so here's our bearings. Here's our mold release we're going to coat it up with. And it's got all kinds of nasty warnings on it. Uh, don't breathe this or it'll kill you. Um, specifically, maybe fatal to swallow it and enters airways, causes serious eye irritation, may cause drowsiness or dizziness, causes damage to organs, central nervous system. This doesn't sound good. So, uh, do not breathe vapors. We're not going to breathe it. We've got pretty good ventilation here. Um, we're also going to wear some rubber gloves to keep this stuff from getting on our skin. And uh, we'll, we'll get this coated up pretty quickly. And uh, I will see if I can show the process. Double task our little can of acetone as a camera stand. And <laughs> just what you want the electric heater overhead to kick on when you're about to open the combustible. We'll give that a minute to shut off because this is a cold environment. One of the things I'm worried about is uh, it's hard to maintain my shop over about 60 degrees. Uh, the rep mentioned a number like 75 degrees. I did ask him and he said it will cure, it just takes longer and lower temperature. So it's like uh, any number of polymers. In that respect. Okay, doesn't say shake, but I'm assuming this mold release has stuff suspended in it, so I'm going to shake it up a little bit. All right. Ha! Ah. For uh, those of you who believe in virus masks, I got a little something. Okay, so this is a common household dust mask. This doesn't work for anything like an organic chemical, a vapor, a virus, anything like that. Don't even try to use it for that. That would be stupid. Organic chemicals or vapor, you're going to have a chance to stop something as small as a virus. You need something like this. The uh, dual cartridge respirator. Not perfect. It's a P95. Solves or oil aerosols. It'll stop a heck of a lot of stuff. That you don't want getting in your lungs. And like most actually effective masks, this is a single use item. Um, a cheap one like this. Uh, I haven't bought one in a while, but they'll cost you somewhere north of 20 bucks a piece. And they're intended for single use. If you're a hobbyist in the shop painting cars, you can uh, sterilize them and get a couple of uses out of them. The manufacturer would never recommend that, but uh, except from someone who's actually used them, that works. Use them more than a couple of times, and their uh, filtration element in these things is usually an activated charcoal. They also have some pre filters on them. They just keep the bad stuff from getting into your lungs, into your airways. So this is a mask. However, I'm going to give you, give you a caveat in a minute. Caveat being Latin for warning. Okay. Breathing clean, filtered air. What is wrong with this picture? Anything? The uh, effectiveness, of the, effectiveness of this thing is being compromised by the fact that I have fuzz on my face. Um, I'm not horrendously worried about this. This is nasty stuff, but I'm not using much of it. I'm not using it long, and I've got a lot of ventilation. So uh, we'll uh, just get her coated up here, and uh, away we'll go. All right, we'll get our first look at our mold. What do you say? Look at that. Looks like white stuff. Okay, and our mold release. Brush on. Hey, look at that. I really wonder. And like my uh, rep said, get two full coats of this stuff on. Don't don't cheap out on it. If you uh, if I glue these bearings in there, they're there forever, or at least until we line bore them out. 
Yeah, that's not my intent. If, I, if it happens, if somehow the motor leaf slips, I'll be sad, but I'll still try putting it together if the, if the uh, plastic gauge shows that the clearance is acceptable to me. And if you're new to this, plastic gauge is a disposable gauge clearance measuring device that mechanics use. We'll show it later on. It's a little strip of plastic slash wax that you put inside the bearing, you tighten it all down, and it smashes out. And by measuring how far it smashes out, you can measure your actual bearing clearance. All right. Here's a, here's a tip. You're wearing a mask and you can smell stuff, your mask is not stopping organic chemicals and viruses. So if you're wearing a piece of cloth, if you're wearing a piece of paper, and you can smell stuff, whether it be whatever, somebody's uh, backside exhaust, whatever, if you can smell it, it ain't, uh, it ain't protecting you from that. And I'm telling you, like I said a, just a while ago, uh, my facial fuzz will keep me from having a good seal. And I can just faintly smell this stuff, which is not desirable. I take the warning seriously. So we'll get this done. Get the door open. Let the air in, let this stuff dry for 20 minutes and get a second coat on it. The other thing you'll notice, if a mask is effective at all, it affects your breathing. And I am having a little bit of labored breathing from this. So I'm going to stop talking. And when I come back and edit, I'll probably either speed up this part of the video uh, or just edit it out. <coughs> and you'll notice I'm being generous with this dupe. Quite a bit on there. I'm also getting the sides and the ends because I don't want this super epoxy, super metal sticking to anything I don't desire. And in fact, when I stick it together, like I said, there will be a coat of normal assembly lube on the crankshaft journals and such to be darn sure that I don't turn my whole engine into an epoxy sculpture which would kind of defeat the purpose of what I'm doing here. All right. Okay, so there's coat one. Seal this nasty stuff up. I'm gonna take a break. Go get a coat. Okay, so you notice uh, here's my bearings with the motor leaf set up on them. The stuff is kind of thick and lumpy. I would hope it would be a little smoother, but we will uh, we'll try it out. We'll get we'll go with it.